Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod, and we are continuing today with the Klingon Civil War series. So we have just the lead ship here, the Negvar Klingon Intelligence version, which I'm assuming has Martok on board, or one of the very top, top Klingon officials. And we have an escort fleet controlled by the computer. Uh, the escort fleet consists of, let's see, three Katinga-class battle cruisers and four Vorcha attack cruisers, as well as some assistance from the Federation. We have two Galaxy-class starships and an Excelsior-class helping us out. However, we are going up against a much larger force than ourselves, well, by a few ships at least. We have two regular Klingon Negvars, ten Vorcha attack cruisers, and two Romulan to Derdix Warbirds, because the Romulans want to cause an upset in the Klingon Empire. So, of course, they have their hands in this. And let's, let's hit engage and see what occurs. Will the loyal Klingon soldiers claim victory over these rebel dissidents? Well, who knows? Well, I guess you guys will by the end of the video. Now, we are at the Kronos map. Enemy vessels. Uh, the Federation vessels are actually in that nebula off to our left side. They're warping over to us somewhat slowly, and the enemy is up here. Now, this fleet back here is a little bit confused. They're actually splitting up, which could be advantageous uh, for us. <clears throat> okay, let's proceed ahead, nice and slow. Had some lag there for a second. Now, even at this distance, I can clearly see the outline of the Romulan Dederdix Warbit up ahead, and I think... Do I see the other one? No, that's a Negvar. Okay. There's... Okay. I can actually see their fleet. I think I'm seeing another Dederdix way back there. Yep, the Pola. <clears throat> ah. The Federation reinforcements have joined up with the Klingon fleet. Now, it might be a good idea to actually cloak, put power to the engines, and close on them Captain. quickly. Have them shoot at the, at the fleet behind me, <clears throat> and then I will decloak behind them and destroy them, hopefully. <clears throat> Okay, the first group is right here. I'm going to target... Okay, never mind. I'm, go I'm gonna target the... Wow! The crazy horse took a beating. I'm decloaking. I'm gonna fire on the... The Chong Puck. Right now. Oh, I, I am mildly transparent. Okay. I guess we're shooting at the Dederdix. We're about to lose the crazy horse. That's not okay. Phasers ready, Captain. We have to get out of here. Is the fleet moving? Well, the fleet moved. The crazy horse will not move any longer. We've lost the crazy horse. A lot of Honorable Federation officers died today. Hopefully their deaths will not be in vain. Let's target the Kupso. Come on. I know I have the really good torpedoes on this vessel, so once their shields go down... There we go, take that. Okay, that did not do nearly as much damage as I, as I had hoped that it would. This is no challenge. Tell me where I can find an opponent worthy of my skills. Okay. That was very anticlimactic. We've lost a Katinga. Let's open fire on the Marukius. Full power to Reverting weapons energy. and shields. Reverting power, Captain. Our shields can't take any more hits, Captain. There we go. We'll be the 
last thing you ever see again. Romulan target destroyed. Please don't warp Sensors through the explosion and, and die. Okay, uh, two of my target ships did exactly that. That that could have been my fault for doing, for, uh, orienting the fleet that way. Whoops. Do we have any... Katinga's left. No, no we do not. We are missing many ships. However, there could be... A chain reaction happen? No, no, there's no chain reaction happening. Well, all of the older Klingon vessels have been destroyed. The Dauntless is about to lose uh, containment. We just lost the Dauntless. Let's warp. Oh no! Oh no! We lost the other Galaxy class. It's gone. What's the most heavily damaged? Okay, company. let's target that one. Diverting power, Captain. This is one of the most crippled Klingon vessels here. Is that one missing its its nose? No, it just looks like that. No? Wait. Yes, it is missing its its head, if you will. That is very weird. There we go, vessel destroyed, target neutralized. In phaser range, Captain. We still have a Romulan warbird on our tail. Where's the rest of our fleet? They are close by. And not doing too well. Come on, torpedo. Target destroyed, Captain. Target destroyed. <clears throat> Okay, we have some vessels that are much farther out. I think this one is disabled. Course laid in. I will adjust. Fools, you are clearly outmatched. Come on. Come on. Where is that disabled one? There it is. It is. It is n not this one. It is in this direction, somewhere. No, it's not disabled at all. It is gone. No, it's over here. Well. Ah, let's just target something. Nearest thing to target that's damaged, that one. We will destroy them with our torpedoes. Well, I will destroy them with my torpedoes. It's already lost its port engine. Let, let's assist them with a, taking off the rest of their engines and everything else. I love those torpedoes. I, I don't know what's in them, but they are much more powerful than the torpedoes they were turning fire at us with. So let's keep up this rate of fire. There we go. Hostile vessel destroyed. I'm going to probably overstep my limit here and attempt to open fire on this warbird. I, I don't think that it will end well, but I can at least try to inflict some serious damage. Their shields are um, their shields are down. Look at that. We're making progress. We're not winning. We probably have no chance of winning. Look at that Vorcha. It has seen better days. This will most likely be the last day that it sees. Let's inflict some more pain. Is the Klingon Empire. There we go. Okay, we're not doing nearly enough. I'm, I'm realizing that. And, and wow. That Vorcha is doing... I almost said a backflip, but it wasn't quite a backflip. But I could have sworn it was inverted for at least a few moments. Now, just perhaps, I should actually divert my attention to other hostile targets as well, like this one. Because I think I can destroy these much more quickly than I can the Dederic's class Warbird. That thing will take a little bit of effort on my part, which I'm willing to put in. 
Once I have nothing, nothing else, you know, shooting at me. Okay, those shields are down. Torpedoes are away. That should finish them off. Maybe, maybe well, one of these is bound to finish them off sometime today. There we go. Targets destroyed. Now I am going to warp this way. Let's see what my ships do. Oh no. Destroyed, Captain. One of them flew right into that. Two of them were caught in the explosions. Only one left. The heavily damaged Vorcha. Target neutralized. Target neutralized. But look at the reaction that's occurring. There's only four hostile vessels left. Or there are only four hostile vessels left. It's acceptable. Let's continue. Let's fire on the Pola. I will actually warp behind the Pola. Warp drive. In phaser range, Captain. There we go. Targeting. Our torpedo tubes are fully reloaded in the front. Let's hope they'll be effective. And now the rear ones. That was quite some damage we did there. Nice solid impacts from those torpedoes. There go the rear ones. We're gaining on it. Where's our Vorcha? Currently being blown up. It's uh it's not good. I think a Negvar. Yeah, I think one of the one of the Negvars got him. Can I win this? I think so. And it's weird. All of these battles, it's come down to just this ship. Now, that's partially because uh, I'm controlling it, and of course the player ships are always more powerful than the AI ships, it seems. Um, but also, it's just a really good vessel. It's a very durable design. Lots of firepower. I am very pleased with the way this ship uh, performs. Now, this is the Klingon intelligence version of the Negvar. It's the equivalent to the, the, the Section 31 ships that the Federation has. Except this really is an improvement over the regular Negvar. At least as far as the torpedoes go, and probably as far as the hull strength goes, too. Let's put full power to the shields, trying to get those back up. There we go, their shields... Their shields are down. Now, if I fire the torpedoes... This could take a while. Although it's just this vessel and two Vorchas. It shouldn't be that difficult. Diverting energy. Come on. More torpedoes, and now the aft torpedoes as well, I will use. Nice connections with all of those. We have one disabled Vorch over there. And one circling us, actually doing damage to us. Let's raise the, the shields again, at least put more power into the emitters, so they will stay up for longer. We are nearly done fighting the Kipso, or Kupso. Don't know, I have no idea. I don't know how to pronounce this. No. I don't speak Klingon. I am not part Klingon. I don't think I'm part Klingon. So I'm really at a loss when it comes to some of these names. Photons are loading, Captain. Come on, just give me torpedoes. That's what I need to use more of. This is no challenge. Now, while the front ones are still reloading, the aft ones are already ready to go. There we go. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? 
I thought that would have had him. And one of them didn't even hit. It's just circling. There it goes. Really shouldn't take much more. There we are. Target destroyed. Nearest enemy vessel is this Vorcha. They will not be there for long. That I guarantee. Their shields are down. Torpedoes are away. Direct hit to enemy weapon systems. Solid hit there with the torpedoes. Systems are somewhat okay. Not at peak efficiency, but they, they will definitely uh, perform well enough for the amount of vessels we have to destroy. Which is just two more. Okay, let's turn. Aft launchers, prepare to fire. This will destroy them. Once I get a solid lock, which may take some, uh... Some diff it may, may take some effort on my part to wait for the lock to concentrate here. Come on. Uh, oh, oh. There we go. Firing. Firing. Ah, there's too many torpedoes. Oh, no, that was the perfect amount. Okay. One enemy vessel left. I will warp over here, but full power to the weapon systems. Cloak. Initiating cloak. Phasers ready, Captain. Okay, what's the deal with this vessel? Does it have either of its engine sections? No, it does not. Both their port and starboard nacelle areas are not there. At least I think they're not there. It looks to me like they're not there. However, they still do have the, uh, it still has the front section. It's not decapitated like the other one we saw earlier. Uh, I think the best way to approach this would be from, uh, well, directly from above, where the weapons most likely cannot reach us. I don't think they can. I don't think the arc goes up that high. So full power to the weapon systems. We have a mostly solid lock with all of our weapons. Decloaking and our hull is changing colors. Our cloak is malfunctioned. We are bending light at ridiculous wavelengths. Torpedoes our way. Oh, that volley was incredible. One more volley of torpedoes. One more spread and they're done. The Klingon Empire, the legitimate Klingon Empire, is victorious. And let's see. Okay, our hull is back to normal. All right, that was a win. Well, guys, that battle took just under 17 minutes. We lost, well, we didn't lose our command ship, but we lost the rest of our fleet and we destroyed all the hostile vessels. So, I thought that was a pretty intense fight. We had the Federation on our side. We lost everyone who was fighting for us, except for the lead ship, which had Marchok on it. So if you're going to be in one of my battles, make sure you're on the lead ship, because usually that's the one that survives. So if you guys enjoyed this struggle between Klingons and Klingons, then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well, then please subscribe, because there is always more Star Trek legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason you guys did not enjoy the video, however, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how I can better improve the quality of the next videos that I produce so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when watching my future videos. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section with regards to that. And I will read through all of those suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use those recommendations in my future videos. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. I hope that your day is going fantastically, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>